Hey guys, gals, and non binary pals, welcome to Blog Day Saturday! The day after Rush as Much as We Can Friday, where we film everything and then Sienna spends like a million hours editing it. She leaves her room with old lady glasses on a walker. It's totally my kink. Thank you, Sean. Love you. Really? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> So today's vlog is a bit different, maybe like a lot different, as you may have figured from the fact we're in two completely different places. Sean is in the house and I'm not here. We'll get to that later. And yes, it has to do with my post on Insta in the past couple days. I have the dog though. Yeah, what? Sean has baby with him. Don't worry though, they're both doing fine given the circumstances. <laughs> Baby, I'll play with you soon, I promise. <laughs> Shh, baby, Mama has to self-promote so you can get the fancy dog food. Okay, like, comment and subscribe to my channel, Burnt Out Sienna, for fun, child-free millennial dog mom diaries, makeup challenges, and unboxing when people send me stuff that happens to be in boxes, or if it's my birthday, or if I'm about to anxiety spiral and I use my followers as an unhealthy method of therapy. Or if I bought something and Sienna really, really wants to open it. Smash that like! We literally make money this way. If I don't put out videos on the regular, I don't get paid. I'm a slave to capitalism, and so are you. Hooray! Yeah, hooray, <laughs> I think. Also, we have sponsors, right, Sienna? Yes. I almost forgot again. Today's sponsor is Good Mutt Box. Want to spoil your pet with monthly toys that they'll then leave all over your house to trip over? Cool! Then click the link in the description. Pro tip, the Kit Kat box add-on is just for cat owners, but if babies have any evidence, your dog will enjoy chewing through the box anyway. Okay, story time. As followers who have been around for the past 10 years know, in the age before Sean, ABS. When I was an emo scene kid making videos about being 18 and putting on liquid eyeliner, I didn't expect my weekly videos to explode the way they did. YouTube was like, hey, we want to monetize your face. And I said, yeah, maybe that would help with student loans. <laughs> so like cut to now. This is my career. Instead of videos about my week-to-week -week life, I was trying to do themed weeks. String theory one week, the Victorian belief in spontaneous human combustion another week, and maybe some stuff about Schrodinger's cat in between. Anything but doing my homework, <laughs> pretty much. Links in the description below if you want to have some nostalgia with a side of cringe. My life is literally an open book, so I can do this full time for my job. Oh, hon, you were such a little baby. <laughs> Wrong kind of baby, baby. Do you think she knows something's weird right now? She seems like she doesn't know anything's different. We're not there yet. Oh, yeah, keep talking. So, this follower who started following me way back then contacts Sean and I about a year ago. We were looking for a rescue dog to expand our little family. And this person who was named Cry Havoc on here, if you want to try and search for them, I've tried, they're gone, was the one who sent us a link to a rescue shelter. That's where we adopted baby. That day was amazing. God, I love dogs because she acted like she recognized us. Yeah, it was like adopting any dog. It was normal. Everything was normal. We had a tough couple weeks right after because she got skittish in the house, but it was all normal dog stuff. The normalest dog. I didn't talk about this on here, but I messaged Cry Havoc after we got baby. I told him how great she is, how we're growing and changing with her. We love her. All the good stuff. This is where it gets weird because Cry Havoc had been super 
normal. Before then. Also the normalist. Oh my god, don't compare this stranger to our dog, please. Promise. Scout's honor. Cyberspace pinky swear. I promise all my fingers and toes. <laughs> Super gross. <laughs> so I'm going to read what Cry Havoc, who was very boring until this moment, wrote. Miss you. Your multiverse video, good. Very good. Very good job. Like, not much to do with my dog there, but you know, maybe this person was awkward or kind of high or just like thinking back to the glory days of 2008 when I was this freshman who didn't know emo was over yet. Very emo. Much nuzzles and roar. <laughs> hate you. You love it. Unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, I just replied to this person as nicely as possible. Girls got to always be nice or were seen as horrible bitch monsters. And I say, thanks. So glad to have a follower from way back when. The person responds with, I follow you always. Which, um... Hello, I have your analytics, pal. I can see all that business. Now, right here in the video, this would be where I put up my screenshots of this for proof. So people don't think I'm crazy, at least not more than I usually am, right? But like I said, Cry Havoc is gone now. Scrubbed, which honestly, good, because the next thing this weirdo sends me, lock door, you need to remember lock door protect lock door and boom that's it i showed it to sean so i was like police now <laughs> they did nothing surprise so i was like defense classes now which sean was already doing and i did too but thank god we don't hear from this person then this past wednesday happens i vague posted about it but essentially yes Sean and I had a break-in. Hey, 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 cool your jets, cool your jets. Aw, uh, it's okay, honey. Okay, this guy broke through our door, our alarm went off, and Sean was the one who went downstairs because I'm a goddamn chicken whose only skill is making video blogs, which I'm only so-so at, in my opinion, personally. A of all, your blogs are art, and B of all, my muscles are also art and intimidating, though, believe it or not, they can't deflect a knife. Uh, but yeah, Baby came downstairs faster than I'd ever seen her move before, and she started barking really loudly. <laughs> and, and it sounded wrong. Yeah, it was echoey, right? Like there was suddenly more than one of her in the living room. And like she was everywhere. And I looked around, and there were echoes of my dog. Weird after images, like when you close your eyes after staring at a bright light. Uh, for a moment, I went stoner brained and I was like, is this what dogs look like when they run really fast? But no, there were just these smeared copies of her all around the living room, and some of the copies had glowing eyes and were twice as big or were orange cats. Wait, cats? Yeah, cats. I told you about this part, right, babe? I don't remember anything about our dog manifesting as an orange cat. Yeah, yeah, it was like the one that used to come to the back and beg for, for food. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, you told me about that. Yeah, I miss yeah. that little dude. So, I watch all these dogs and cats jump on the burglar at once, and they yelled and barked and ran up the walls and through the ceiling and everywhere. It was haunted mansion stuff, but with animals. About this point, I'm sure you, my viewer, my devoted fan, since the days of my viral video, Emo Girl Cries About Panic at the Disco Breakup, are thinking, what the hell kind of sleep medication was Sean on? Answer? None. It makes me gain weight. You're beautiful at any size, honey. 
Aw, oh, but I need to keep these rock solid abs going. Beautiful. So anyway, listen, I can't say I saw the same thing as Sean. I didn't. But I go downstairs because I hear that weird echoey barking and there are... Wow. This is harder to do than I thought. It's been, it's been two days. You don't have to talk about this. We don't even have to do a video right now. No, no, I want to. It was fucked up. But I want to talk about it before I lose courage. I came downstairs, and for a moment, I didn't see Baby. I saw the burglar stab Sean. And, like, listen, I was stabbed. Kind of. And I also wasn't at the same time. Like, I remember both things. But, uh, yeah, suddenly the dog wasn't just a bunch of ghosts. I was too. And I was also nothing. <laughs> Which, like, what the fuck, right? And in that moment, there's this bright white light. It's like when you have your eyes closed and you push your fingers hard against your eyelids, but it lasted longer. And obviously it was a lot bigger. It felt, I felt electric currents running over my skin. I smelled burning ozone. <laughs> Aw, my little protector. So, right, bright light. And suddenly, I watch my best friend in the world get stabbed. There's all this blood, and simultaneously, I'm watching the night turn to day. And I look up and see my house is full of all our friends and family in black. And we're all having a funeral, and Sean's framed photo is on the wall. And I'm watching myself cry and baby isn't even there then I watch myself still live in the house for decades having friends over getting old dying on that couch it was like one of those dreams that feels like it lasts a hundred years while you're having it then I smelled ozone again and I was back at the house but John wasn't stabbed he was he was standing Baby barked at the burglar, a normal, normal bark this time. And the dude threw down his knife and just left. I called the police and told them if they didn't come right now and actually do something, I would file a complaint. We were, we were both pretty shaken. I, I keep touching my stomach. There's no scar there, but if there was one, I know where it would be. I remember a knife piercing directly through my vital organs, almost, but I also remember it didn't. And I have memories of that other reality where I don't have Sean. Oh, because you'd never love anyone like you love me. Hun, I hate people. I like you, baby, our friends, and no one else. Oh, true love. To bring it up now, I'm still, like, all jittery about actually being in my house. Mostly because of a weird alternate ghost timeline where I was there for 50 years. That brings us to why we're at separate places. I'm currently in the apartment Sean and I are going to be renting from a lady we know, which he needs to hurry back to. So packing. Pack harder! <laughs> Anyway, we're going to stay here until I get, I can stomach going back home. And I'm still packing everything up, which is good aerobics! <laughs> yep, not stressful at all. <laughs> so, as it turned out, internet weirdo cry havoc was right. We set the alarm but didn't lock our door. This guy who was addicted to meth and needed money to buy cold medicine, just snuck into our house to get some stuff to sell. I've seen photos of him and he doesn't, and he, he looks like a dumb kid. I feel for that 
as a former dumb kid who was just smart enough to start a YouTube channel at the right time. And get a follower who was, apparently, a dog wizard. <laughs> okay, we disagree there because I think they were an anomaly, like a being who exists simultaneously across all of time and space and is still learning how to control their powers from an unspecified point in the past or future. And what do they do with eternity and all this power? They decide to spend some of it watching YouTube, which is like totally relatable and feels a little unlikely. More unlikely than a dog wizard? I still think there's an X-Men mutant person out there who can see the future. So they found another mutant, Xavier style, and that mutant was our dog, Baby which is deeply dope. I'm on team reality glitch, but honestly, maybe that's the same as a dog wizard. I don't know. I don't think I would have connected any of this with Baby, though, until yesterday. Like, us both hallucinating different worlds is weird, but kind of a small thing compared to Sean being stabbed and not stabbed at the same time. Sienna, Sienna, she's doing it again. She's, she's doing it again. Good, good, we have to get it. I think she's figuring out how to do it automatically. I was about to give her a bath. My spoiled, beautiful girl. See you soon, baby. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs>